time complexity in this session we are going to discuss about the time complexity problems i have picked some problem of time complexity to let you understand like how practically it looks like we have given one algorithm here and we have to choose the correct option based on our calculations so how to calculate it first we divide the algorithm into different components so this is one part here we have one for loop and inside this for loop we have one more for loop so first of all we have break down this algorithm into different fragments okay now we have to calculate the complexity of this algorithm so how do we do that as you can see we will know we will give it as a constant k1 okay so this will be ignored as this is a constant here some initialization part is happening that's why we are taking it as a constant k1 now in this loop this loop is going to run for 1 to n times iterate for 1 to n times okay so when the value of i is 1 here let's take the value of i and n when the value of i is 1 here m's value will become m into 2 okay what is the value of m here 1 into 2 so the value of m will become 2 now this second loop will run from 1 to m times so m's value is 2 here so this loop will run 2 times okay 2 times now when the value of i is 2 here Okay. when the value of i is 1 m's value is 2 when the value of i is 2 what will be the value of m here so previous value of m is 2 now 2 into 2 it will become 4 so this sec this loop will run from 1 to 4 times 4 times it will print this statement codify dsa when the value of i will become 3 so the old value of m is now 4 4 into 2 8 now when the value of i is 3 okay the value of m will become 8 and this loop will now run 8 times similarly when the value of i is 4 here this loop will run for 8 into 2 16 times okay similarly when the value of i is n here which is the last value this will run how many times that is the question so if you notice here there is some pattern happening this is 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 3 2 raised to power 4 if you take when the value of i is 5 what is the value of m 16 into 2 32 okay you can see the pattern here it's in the power of 2 so when the value of when the value of i is n it will become n 2 raised to power n like when the value of i is 1 this is taking 1 power when the value of i is 2 it is taking 2 power 3 3 power 4 4 power 5 5 power n n power in this way we can say the time complexity of this algorithm is 2 raised to power n uh, let's take the second example what is the time complexity of this given algorithm so here we have one program written here first we will divide this program into different fragments let's say the initialization part is denoted by k1 constant there is one for loop and one more for loop now this first for loop is running for n number of time and this for loop is running for m number of time every time it is printing some random statement like it is adding some random value to this variable b and random value to this variable a inside this loop so what will be the time complexity of this program so here first we have a constant which we will ignore let's see what will be the time complexity here so first loop and second loop how many times the first loop is running 0 to n so we can say n times first loop is running how many times the second loop is running m times we can say 
and as any value of i j or m is not dependent on this statement so this when the value of i is 0 it will take let's see it in practical so that you can understand the value of i here so when the value of i is 0 suppose okay so when the value of i is 0 what will be the value of a here 0 plus some random number say 1 so 0 plus 1 we can say 1 when the value of i is 1 here what will be the value of a here now a's value is 1 here 1 plus some random number say 2 so it will take as 3 it, it can be any random number 1 2 when the value of i is 2 what will be the value of this say a's value is 3 now 3 plus 1 4 so this will continue till n number of times okay this will continue till n number of times similarly when the value of j is 0 what will be the value of b it can be any random number right like this so for n number of times this loop is getting executed okay so we can say the complexity of this time complexity of this algorithm is n plus m this loop is running for n number of time and this is running for m number of time as both these loops are different we can say they are getting added here if this for loop is inside this for loop then we can say it's a multiplication but right now both the loops are different and we cannot say that n and m are the same variable that's why we have taken the n plus m time complexity here so the complexity here is o of n plus m now o of n plus m is present in two options so we have to decide with on the basis of space also right so we have to decide it on the basis of space now how to calculate the space let's say this is memory okay now when the value of i is 0 the value of a was 1 okay now when the value of i is 1 here the value of a is 3 now now the value here is changing inside this variable only no other variable is getting allocated and where and the value is getting assigned it's not like that because we are we are not creating the new variable here every time it is already initialized and we are just using that variable now when the value of i is 2 the value of a will become 4 so we are not creating another variable here it is getting assigned initialized here only okay similarly when the value of j is 0 the value of b is 1 so the value of b inside memory will be 1 now when the value of j is 1 the value of b will become 3 so there is no other initialization as this is initialized once here and we are reusing that variable so that value will change here only so we can say the space by these variable is constant like it is not changing it is initialized once and that's what we are reusing again and again that's why we can say the space complexity here is o of 1 so the c option will be correct here time complexity is this and o of 1 will be the space complexity let's calculate the time complexity of this third algorithm first of all we will divide this program into different parts k1 and here we have one for loop and inside this for loop we have one more for loop here okay So what will be the time complexity here as you can see the first loop i is running for n number of times and second loop is running for i number of times so let's see when the value of i is 0 here 0 less than n let's say the value of n is 4 here okay now 0 less than 4 j is equals to 4 4 greater than 0 yes 4 is greater than 0 for that we need this table here 
the value of n here is 4 and the value of i okay now when the value of i is 0 0 how many times j loop will run okay when the value of i is 0 here j is equals to 4 4 greater than 0 yes 4 is greater than 0 the value of a will become something okay so 4 greater than 0 then 3 greater than 0 2 greater than 0 1 greater than 0 this many times the inside for loop will run which is 4 times okay now when the value of i is 1 here okay 1 is less than 4 now the j's value is is 4 here and 4 greater than what is the value of i here is 1 now now it will check 4 greater than 1 yes condition is true it will execute this statement again the value of j gets decremented it will become 3 it will check 3 greater than 1 yes it will execute this statement again again it will decrement the value of j which is 2 2 greater than 1 yes 1 greater than this condition will become false the loop will run 3 times now when the value of i was 0 it was running 4 times when the value of i is 1 here the value here will become 3 now when the value of i is 2 now 2 less than 4 yes condition is true j is equals to 4 4 greater than 2 now yes condition is true it will execute this statement decrement the value of j which will become 3 3 greater than 2 yes condition is true now when the value of i is 2 the j loop will run 2 times now increment the value of i which is 3 now okay when the value of i is 3 now 3 less than 4 yes condition is true j is equals to n j is equals to n means j is equals to 4 4 greater than value of i is 3 now yes condition is true so when the value of i is 3 here j loop will run one time okay now when the value of i is 4 here okay 4 less than 4 this loop will not get executed and it will come to the end of the program so as you can notice here i will write it, it in a clean way when the value of i was 0 it was running four times when the value of i is 1 j was running three times when the value of i is 2 j is running two times when the value of i is 3 j is running one time okay if you can notice the pattern here the first loop is running in ascending order and this loop is running in descending order so one two three four times i loop was running which was the first loop and four times the j's loop is running the inside loop so it depends on the value of i here as you can notice here whatever the value of i will become this j loop will run in reverse order so you can say you can say the loop is running for n square times the first loop is running for n times and the second loop is running for n time and as we have discussed both the loops are nested so we can say they are multiplied if this for loop was outside the first for loop then we have added those conditions so it, it has become n plus n like this but here we have the nested for loop that's why we can say that there is a multiplication and n square times this loop will run and that will be the time complexity of this algorithm to understand this better let's take the value as value of n as 10 here so old value i and new value of i okay every time the loop is getting divided into the equal parts like see i is equals to 10 here 10 greater than 0 yes what is the value of i here i divided by 2 it is 10 divided by 2 it will give us 5 see half parts okay 
now the new value of i is 5 5 greater than 0 5 divided by 2 it will give us 2 similarly when i is equals to 2 now 2 greater than 0 yes 2 divided by 2 it will give you 1 again 1 greater than 0 1 divided by 2 it will give us 0 so if you notice it is divided into equal parts okay 10 is 5 5 is 2.5 as that is decimal integer variable we ignore this point value 2 2 is divided into equal parts which is 1 1 is equal divided into equal parts which is 0 so this is said to be this is represented using the log n okay as you might have seen this into the sorting algorithm where we point out the middle element and divide the elements into equal parts and then sort them that is the concept there also the complexity used to be log n so here the o of log n will be the time complexity of this specific algorithm i hope you all got the um, understanding like how to calculate the time complexity of any given problem so this is the easiest way like first divide the program into the fragments and then see the for loop is nested or not and if it is nested then multiply if it is not nested then use the plus symbol and then identify the patterns inside the for loop like it is a two it is in the raised to the power of two or it is in the logarithmic format or it is in the n square format you can you have to identify like how what is the pattern of that algorithm and then you can easily choose the correct option and one more thing we have also launched this interview score skill all you have to do is select your domain okay whether you are a front-end developer back-end developer every test is curated by an expert so that you get the idea like what questions are being asked in the interviews and uh, you can choose your specific date and time slot okay based on that you will get one link to join the test and the test will be mcq based and usually it takes 30 minutes it will be completely online test and uh, the benefit of the taking this interview test is you can see the detail analytics like where exactly your knowledge is lacking that's what you can test here and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe and share with your friends who are in the cs and it and uh, we will definitely bring some interesting algorithms and coding problems here also so that's all for today folks thank you for watching signing off manish methani